In this video, we're renovating this entire house in less than a week. <laughs> and this project is gonna change a deserving family's life. Del, what's Who Deserves Better? Uh, who Deserves Better is a community give back program uh, designed to help uh, a deserving family in need. The catch is that they have no idea about the work that we're doing and we're gonna reveal the home in just five days. Before I take you inside to show you the renovations in there, let me introduce you to this family. We are helping the Molino brothers. Dylan lives upstairs with his two children and Cody who lives in the basement. Dylan has had some substance abuse problems in his past and some mental health issues that have been challenging for him over the past several years. His lowest point I think was um, struggled with um, alcohol, drug abuse, depression, and then um, when his partner left and he had the two kids by himself for about a year, lost his job, didn't want to live anymore, and then he um, ended up in the hospital. And in, in the hospital, he, he knew he had to live for his kids and he needed to get better for them, and he did. My family and my children helped, definitely brought me through. People around me rely on me, and it, I, it helped pick me up and get through it, and I, I made it. I now have children, if they're going through that, Losing them would be dreadful, so I, I didn't want to do that to them either. Cody's the older brother, but Dylan has taken that role. We never thought that Cody would be able to live on his own to begin with. Dylan keeps an eye on him because Cody is on the spectrum. They look after each other. Cody helps Dylan with the kids. Dylan helps Cody just with life. <laughs> yeah, Cody volunteers as well throughout the community a lot. He's one of my heroes. So after learning about the family and their struggles, I wanted to know a little bit more about their home and how Strandville could help. Dylan's kitchen is a disaster. He was gonna reno it and then it just got left. And now it's, they, they had an island that came out and they just cut it off so all the cupboards fell. And Cody's bathroom downstairs is quite a disaster. It, there's, there's no extra income for any kind of work. They, whatever they did, I'd try, I'd try and help them with stuff. Cody's just not gifted that way to watch for things like that. So, you know, when things started to break down, we'd go like his faucet would be leaking. I'd ask him, Cody, how long has this been leaking? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> and it was like dripping water forever. I can be, but I'm not really skilled in like basic stuff. Like I'm no nutrition, I'm no plumber, so if any neatage or any tito stuff, I'm kind of stumped, but. They don't feel like they deserve this. They can't believe that they were chosen for this and they believe other people deserve this more than they do. And I think it just goes to show the character that these guys have and that they really truly do deserve this and everyone deserves better. Now that we know there were some pretty serious issues throughout the home, like two crumbling kitchens, an older furnace, we had our work cut out for ourselves. Tell me what's different in this project from this year compared to last year. Cole, we have doubled up. We don't just have one floor to do this year, we have two. We have two kitchens, an entire exterior, and the same amount of time. What does this mean to you being able to help out? To be able to help somebody that can't do it for themselves means everything. I think that's why Strandville does what it does. You seem pretty excited. I'm jacked. <laughs> I'm jacked and filthy, but it's fun. Perfect. Yeah, it's awesome. Day one was reno day, where we had as many as 25 people in and out of the home, ripping off siding, flooring, demoing the kitchen, and looking for any unforeseen issues. What'd you find in here? After removing flooring and some casing around the window, we found the presence of moisture and mold. We're likely gonna remove drywall here below the window to see exactly where it's coming in. Is this gonna set us back? Quite possibly. Sam, what's going on with this wall? It's got all the kids' heights and years, so we really are gonna do our best to try and salvage this for them. Soon these hours turned into hot days, where the temperature reached about 35 degrees on average. I mean, it was hot, but there was a lot of work that still needed to be done, and everybody was pushing through. What I think is so cool is that there is so many local trades and companies pitching in their labor, their supplies, and their time to get all this completed. And honestly, there is so many that I can't name them all. So here they are all over the screen. Thank you so much to all those trades. Well, I don't want to go in there and bug anybody too much because it does seem like it's getting a little bit stressful. We only have less than a day left. Today is the last full day to get everything done. 
and it seems like it's getting a little tense. No matter what room I go into, there's always a conversation happening. There's like three or four people working in every room. It's getting nuts. Jenna, what happened? We were supposed to have a couch in by Tuesday and the couch isn't in, so we have no couch to put into the living room for <laughs> the reveal tomorrow. I'm gonna get on the phone with Del right now and hopefully figure it out so we have a couch tomorrow. Like any other well-laid plan, things just didn't go as expected. But with the family arriving in less than a day, we had to get all these finishing touches done, including building all the furniture and cleaning absolutely everything. Okay, Sam, family's on the way. How are you feeling? So incredibly nervous, but... Did you sleep good last night? No, not at all. <laughs> not at all. I think I replayed this whole thing in my head a hundred times. Okay, the family has just arrived and I'm gonna go get them and they have not seen any of the work that we've done all week long. It's gonna be pretty exciting. Countdown. Three, Three two, two, one. underneath that that is a piece of mdf you can actually unscrew it and remove it but we've matched the heights exactly the to where they were what's with the furniture oh, this is all new this is all donated to you what yeah you have a record player now oh that's so cool there's okay. wow <laughs> i got it out of it wow this is so overwhelming and look at oh, it's very shocking sam this is this is beyond. Do you like it? Adora has donated so an entire kitchen. Wow. Look at these cupboards. I love the cupboards. I love the yeah, that's incredible. I love this. Oh, this is so Oh, that's beautiful. neat. Oh, God, yeah. Wow. Granite Rocks has donated all new countertops and backslash. Um, Delta Faucet, Blanco Sink. These are all brands that have all donated oh, to you guys. Did you see the pantries? Amazing! Oh, wow! Are you excited to see your room? Ready? Okay. It's beautiful. So Rocky Mountain Deco donated all the wallpaper in here, so we just spruced it up a little bit. You always already had such a beautiful look in here. New chandelier. Matthew's Design Company did all the setting. Should we go look at Dutch's room now? Oh, my oh, God. Whoa. Oh, look, cool. oh, this is super oh, cool. Oh, I love this. Oh, wow. Whoa. Just oh, my oh, my gosh. Whoa. Oh, oh wow. We got a new vanity oh, for the countertop. Oh, All right, Dylan. Oh, my goodness. You deserve this, okay? You. Okay. You do. <laughs> I know what it's like to be a parent. <laughs> How much work this is. So this is your space, okay? Whoa. Oh, it's amazing. Did so we get awesome. your style right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. It's beautiful. <laughs> Oh my gosh, like that it's wallpaper is amazing. That was Rocky Mountain Deckle again. What did you say? I think that dad's room is better. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, very nice. Oh my goodness. Oh, so there is one other thing I want to point out. If you look inside that door, there's a brand new furnace in there from Kodiak no Heating. Do you think you can play video games in here? Um, oh, yeah. Yeah? yeah? You think? So? I love this. Look oh, at those, those posters. <gasps> and this wall. And look at the lighting on this wall. This is amazing. It's so much bigger. We got you, Cody. Hey, Cody. You want to see your kitchen? Cody! Oh, my gosh. 
Oh my goodness. We've even got you a full size dishwasher from Baker's. What? Nice. So now you don't have to hook it up anymore. It's right there for you. Brand new fridge. It's just amazing. I'm blown away. Wow, new sink. Oh. This is definitely a different house. <laughs> <laughs> it's a different house. He's got a full stand-up shower in there now. Oh, it's plumbed properly, oh, matches. Look at your shower code. Oh, That's crazy. Really? 